It was a long and frustrating night for passengers sleeping on the floor of Terminal 5 at Heathrow Airport. Hundreds were left stranded after more than 400 flights were cancelled. They're just bundling up, trying to find any space that they can find on the floor. Um, the good thing is the airport was supplying um, mats for people to lay on and also blankets, food, water and all the necessities. British Airways apologised for its delays, offering customers the option to cancel and rearrange their trip free of charge at a later date. But though flights this morning are returning to normal, still long delays are expected. The flow rate is back to normal. Um, planes landing and arriving, uh, landing and departing at about uh, 42, 44 an hour, which is very good news. Um, the bad news is there are tens of thousands of passengers who didn't get to where they were going yesterday. Terminal 5, well, the good news is it no longer looks like a refugee camp. The bad news is it looks like an extremely crowded uh, airport terminal. Thousands of people there. Elsewhere, better news at Gatwick and Stansted airports, both reportedly operating as normal, though passengers are still advised to check before they travel. One of the worst hit areas yesterday was Wales, where up to 25 centimetres fell in places and thousands of homes lost their electricity supply, though all have now been reconnected. The snow has moved northwards with heavy showers expected across parts of northern England and eastern Scotland. And with temperatures staying bitterly low, despite gritters out in force, the risk of ice on untreated roads brings a warning for motorists to take care. Trains too are again disrupted and this white wintry weekend continues with heavy snow pushing up from France into southeastern England tomorrow. Only good news if your travel plans are simply to go sledging. Linda Hardy, BBC News.